We really felt called to Denver and Preston had taken a trip out there to kind of find our neighborhood that we were going to live in and so he was just asking people, um, hey what kind of church would you go to? Just people he'd see at the, on the street or at a restaurant. So he walked into a coffee shop um, and asked this guy what kind of church would you go to and the guy just kind of like put his head back and laughed and said, oh no, I'm not religious. And so Preston said, well, I'm not religious either. I'm more talking about like a relationship with God. What kind of church would you want to go to? And he said, well, I guess maybe I'd go to one if you could ask some questions or, you know, if you could look a little different than other people and still be accepted. So whenever you fast forward from that conversation to being in prayer one day and feeling like God gave this idea, I went to him and said, I want to start something called the Doubters Club. I want to start something where you, an atheist, and me, a Christian, we model friendship and we pursue truth together. And it's an incredible opportunity for people to come together of all worldviews to be heard and for the gospel to kind of flourish in environments that it wanted before. And out of the Doubters Club, we've seen a lot of people move towards faith in Jesus. One of the stories that's been amazing to us is this guy that came as a Satanist. He started saying how beautiful it is to be heard and how he felt like there are people, stories there that matter. So this guy, I, I discipled him for eight months. We would get together, get coffee, get lunch for eight months. At the end of eight months, he said, I want to follow Jesus. Will you help me follow Jesus? It's pretty incredible. And so now you have this guy with like pentagrams tattooed on his hand that might be a greeter at our church. Our motto is bring your uncertainties to an unchanging God. And so these people that are moving forward, we start telling them, hey, we're, we're launching a faith community. We're launching a church. We want you to be part of it. We launched the church on September 25th of this year, and absolutely amazing, 143 people came to the launch of the church, which is unheard of in the city of Denver. It's a total grace of God to have that happen. So to the Oaks, uh, we consider you guys our home church, and we consider everything that you do to be incredible. We were part of the Oaks, and we still are part of the Oaks. I truly cannot say thank you enough uh, for giving above and beyond what you normally give so that you can see a faith community thrive and Doubters Club's now going nationwide. I can't thank you enough for that. But even to be able to move and for the Oaks to say, hey, we're going to financially back you, uh, gave us a level of confidence that this is something that God is behind or people see value in what's going to happen. All, all of that, to not have that, we wouldn't have made it. We probably would have just sunk in the first two months uh, if we didn't have the support base. And so it's been, it's been incredible. Again, the Oaks is to blame for there being a church there.